programming your phones are working hard to get you and your family to feel the need to check in constantly. Some programmers call it brain hacking, and the tech world would probably prefer you didn't hear about it. They're shaping the thoughts and feelings and actions of, of people. They, there's always this narrative that technology is neutral and it's up to us to choose how we use it. This is just not true. Technology is not neutral. It's not neutral. They want you to use it in particular ways, shaped how a billion people think and feel every day with the choices they make about these screens. Most tech companies say their priority is improving user experience, something they call engagement. But they remain secretive about what they do to keep people glued to their screens. Small companies that specialize in what Ramsey Brown calls brain hacking. A computer programmer who now understands how the brain works knows how to write code that will get the brain to do certain things. On Instagram, sometimes those likes come in a sudden rush. There's holding some of them back for you to let you know later in a big burst. Like, hey, here's the 30 likes we didn't mention from a little while ago. There's some algorithm. We think we can see an improvement in his behavior if you give it to him in this, bit, in this burst instead of that burst. You don't pay for Facebook. Advertisers pay for Facebook. You get to use it for free because your eyeballs are what's being sold there. You spend half your time on Facebook just scrolling to find one good piece worth looking at. It's happening because they are engineered to become addictive.